You need to be careful right now in GTA 5 Online. My name is GTA Pubs here. In today's video, we are going to be talking about a story from a current GTA Online uh, player out there that is experiencing, it looks like, griefers messing with him and you know luring him in and that basically taking his money away from him, plank blank, level, etc., everything that a mod menu could do. Again, we're not going to be talking about how to work a mod menu. We're going to be talking about how a person or a member of the GTA 5 community is, you know, shared this story with the GTA forums uh, members out there. So let's get right into today's video. So as I know I talked about in my previous video how, you know, uh, Rockstar Games had to come out and uh, basically point blank saying they are having a, a major issue with the GTA 5 Online Diamond Casino and Resort Heist. We have an update on that. I'll share that at the end of today's video. But this kind of, I don't know if it's related to it, but it's one console and you need to know about this guy's story. And this guy's, uh, his name, he's sharing this on the GTA Forums site. Uh, his name, he goes by AJ Kane, and he posted uh, earlier last week, he said, Not sure how Rockstar cares about these modders griefers, if at all. A while back, some guy was in the chat hollering, check out my YouTube stream. So I checked it out, and the guy is using stand and killing other people with it, lol. But I'm not standing citizen, so I go and report the cheating in Rockstar's website, providing a link to his YouTube channel and tell them the videos show him modding using Stan and griefing others. It's over a week and nothing happened. So it looks like this AJ knew what to do right away and was like, okay, we gotta, we gotta report this guy ASAP. And um, he actually had a little follow-up. He said, this is the first time I've ever seen this. Four years playing, all my money taken by the modder, and the money didn't come back by restarting slash changing sessions. He also changed my appearance to a black man, lol. I have no idea who it might have been. I have been pissing off several modders during the day, but there's nothing new in that. Earlier when I have checked my transaction log, it showed several negative 2.0 etc. small transfers to some vanity shoppings, but after restarting the transaction log, it was just empty. About 1.6 billions of dollars blown away. Ha ha ha. So here's an image that AJ Kane has shared of his Maze Bank log. You can see he has zero dollars in his Maze Bank account. So yes, about 1.6 billion dollars that he, you know, worked hard in the GTA 5 online game has just disappeared. And he said about how he was, you know, pissing off several modders that's not a good thing to do and that was probably why this happened to him but again this is just a warning to all g2 online players not to mess with modders out there and if you see some yes you should you know definitely report them and whatnot but you should be alarmed to you know everything that's been going on because Rockstar Games cannot stop modders for some reason. They, you know, this happened before. They, you know, went out and, you know, put coding and stuff like that. You know, had to, you know, put push out updates, background updates, etc. Now, there's some people out there that were asking AJ Kane some questions. Someone said, what about level? Seems like your profile was overwritten, if it is even possible. Anyways, I think support should be able to restore your data. They... They not making problems with connecting levels after a media stick spam, in my opinion, is a similar situation. With AJ responding, yes, it put my level as 6,127 or something. I've seen shit like that before, so I didn't mention it as a new thing. And here's what, like, a 6,127 level would look like if you are in a G2 online session. Uh, primarily, you'll probably see this in a public session. Now, I believe AJ was maybe playing on PlayStation uh, 4 or 5 at this time, I'm not sure. But, again, if, I see, if I'm in a public session and I see 6,127, I know that is really not possible in GTA 5 Online, so I'm sure it either is a modder or a modded account. We also had someone 
um, ask uh, Tez Funds too actually chimed in as well uh, during this situation. Uh, he said, yes, this guy isn't your usual mod menu user. And he's using a test account and a session hop a lot. Hop a lot. If you catch his name in the lobby menu, make sure to file that within the ticket to rocks or support. I would have said switch sessions if you see him, but he's able to chase you in a public session like he did to AJ Kane. So yes, looks like this guy is just hopping around public session to session and, um, you know, catching this player or even following the player. But again, AJ should have found this guy's name right away, probably filed it within the support of the Rockstar support ticket so they knew or who Rockstar knew who they were chasing. Also, Tez Funds 2 responded to some users in the GTA forums uh, page and he said, someone said, this is getting even more weird. By the way, did you happen to receive an email from Rockstar telling you that your account has been suspended? This is not stated. And Tez is saying this is a fake message, a usual menu cheat, was Tez telling people to avoid public lobbies for now and stay in invite only. The same was done to AJ, and he kept chasing it. So A, being Rockstar, did not even know about this. This guy actually sent a message to AJ saying this is a fake ban. This was not coming from Rockstar Games. And because all this is happening within the last week or so, and just stuff going on with the Diamond Casino Resort, on PC, the heist, I should say, it's safe to say you should stay in invite-only sessions with your friends that you can trust. You can do a lot of businesses in these sessions, so you should be very actively uh, safe. And AJ was chasing this modder, maybe instigating him a lot more, and that's why the modder went ballistic on him and decided to do all this stuff. Lastly, coming from Tez, someone asked him, speaking of that, are invite-only sessions safe still? Or cheaters have discovered other ways of force joining your session without an invite since the chop shop up in December that are kept private. What about closed friend sessions? I know only free mode sessions should be safe since jobs started from the session type will become public. And Tez stated, yes, closed sessions such as invite-only and friends are safe. So all those sessions are safe. Just public sessions probably aren't safe at this moment. We had this happen before, folks. This is nothing new about how you need to be advised when you are in public sessions because they can get dirty and whatnot. Now, lastly, in today's video, remember we talked about how Rockstar Games has put out a, a major vulnerable message, as they stated, how the Diamond Casino Resort heist, you cannot function at all right now. They disabled it because there's some issues going on, and I believe this might be modders as well, even though this AJ story happened on console. Now, you're probably wondering what happens. I talked about in this in my previous video. What happens if you go to the Diamond Casino Resort Heist and try to start it up? Well, I asked a question on the GTA forum site. I said, I'm curious to see if Rocks are implemented an in-game message if you attempt to start this heist up. What happens if you approach the board if there isn't an in-game message? Someone responded to me, Crow Tex, thank you for responding and helping me out. And he said, you will receive a temporary unavailable message. Also, remember I talked about how Rockstar uh, Games uh, implemented a, a, uh, a Q&A quinter on the support page. And they added this one thing to it on June 14th, which is yesterday on Friday, they added something saying players who do not own the arcade will be unavailable to purchase a property until a permanent fix is in place. So you cannot even buy the arcade at this time or even play the Diamond Casino and Resort Heist. So I wanted to update you guys with that. So hopefully, um, I'm hopefully... AJ can resolve this with Rockstar Games, even though it looks like he was messing with the modders a little bit, and he, sh he admitted it on the GTA forum site, and uh, yeah, that probably did it as well. So if you did enjoy today's video, or if this really helped you out, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos here on the GTA Puzzle channel. My name is Papier, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.